when you're moving off, um, you know, you're supposed to check. If you're moving from the left side of the road and you're driving into the middle of the road, you're supposed to check the right side last. So if you get the order wrong by, by a chance, let's say you've started on the right side and then you've finished off. Sorry, I, that, I'm not you, but it's still over there. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she thought I was an Uber. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, um, where was that? If you start from the left side of the road and you want to drive to the middle of the road, the, route, the correct way of doing it is starting from the left, doing your checks or your mirrors, and then finishing to your right. But sometimes you might forget that order. Sometimes people start from this side and then finish off there. Now, if you move off just after you finish off there, obviously that's not gonna be safe because you're not gonna be seeing what's on this side uh, as you move off. What you wanna do, so even if you get the wrong order, let's say you start from this side, yeah, and then decide to move off. What you wanna do is make sure you check over your right shoulder again anyway, just before you move off. So even if you start this side, so I'm gonna do my checks in the wrong order, but then I'm gonna do one more check over my right shoulder before I move off the car they're coming so I'm just going to let them go through so as long as you remember to do that last check over your shoulder the right one as you're coming out towards the right you should be okay even if you don't do it in the correct order so we've got buses in front of us here there's a chance that they might pull over and we've got a lane on the right right now it's quite busy there's cars and there's a van next to me on the right here um, if it was freer and the bus is pulled over, I would probably try to move over. So like now the bus is pulled over, I would normally try to pull up, to go to the right side here if it wasn't so busy, but uh, there's quite a lot of traffic there, so there's no point in me going to the right yet. Um, if when they start moving, and the bus is, if the bus is still at the bus stop, I will try to go, but as you can see now, the bus is indicating to, uh, to move out, so I'm not gonna try to go around him. And I'm, if you notice how much space I've left as well, just in case he does decide to stay there for longer, I don't want to be so close that I can't move out uh, comfortably. This space allows me to check the, the right properly. Once I get a nice gap, I could move to the right quite easily. If I was too close, it would be very difficult for me to turn out of that space. So always leave a space, big enough space for you to move around the bus comfortably. And then once uh, everyone's moving, the bus is moving as well, so I didn't even have to change uh, lanes, but I was ready to change lanes if I needed to. So I'm turning left at this uh, traffic light. We can only turn left. But I'm gonna make sure that I stick to my lane as much as I can. Uh, there's no space for me actually to turn, so I'm just gonna stop right here because if I turn now, I'm gonna end up uh, blocking the, um, the box junction there. So I waited because there was no space for me to turn. And before I move as well, I'm gonna make sure I check the lights to make sure they're still, gre uh, still uh, green. And as you, can see, as you saw there, they were turning red um, so I was on the line still, so there's no point of me moving. So when you're in the left lane or any other lane and people are moving over, it's usually a sign that the lane's coming to an end. Then if you look on the floor, you've got arrows showing you that you need to move over. So that will give you another clue as well before the lane's turned into a bus lane there. So watch out for people moving out of the lane. Um, watch out for floor markings telling you to move over. That way you're not gonna get caught too late and then make a rush decision as the lane's finishing that way you have enough time to plan and move out the way and um, carry on your driving so if you're in traffic you don't want to be driving this close so you see right now i can't really see the floor between me and the car in front you want to be this far away at all times so that you can see everything that's on the floor if you so that if a crossing does come up you have enough time to see it and you can stop before you block it. So with a nice gap like this, if anything happens with those cars in front, if they stop for any reason, I will have enough time to react. So like that car has stopped and this person is crossing the road. So I'm just gonna let them cross. So if that car in front had stopped here, for instance, I would have seen that and I could have stopped uh, way before I blocked the crossing over there.
when doing a double roundabout and especially if you're going left first and then right it's best to just go left and then aim straight for the right lane and then indicate right so rather than going into the left lane first you go straight to the right lane that way you're already in the lane that you need to be in to make the next move if you don't know what the speed limit is on the road look out for these signs as well so you see it's green and it says 22 miles an hour or 23 that means that this road is more than 20 miles an hour so sometimes you might not be sure what the speed limit is but then that little box there will tell you how fast you're actually going and if it's uh, let's say it's above 20 and you're going above 20 and it's still green that means that road is 20 is more than 20 miles an hour so it's going to be likely likely to be 30 miles an hour or maybe even 40. so use those signs as well just as a little help her to see how fast the road is and how fast you're allowed to go so there will be times when you have to block a crossing um, so like here for instance the zebra crossing is right by the giveaway line so if you need to wait so I'm looking to the right and there's cars coming from the right so if I need to wait I'll wait actually on top of the crossing for any cars that might be coming from the right and then once I can see that it's clear then I can go so that's the only time really you should be blocking uh, pedestrian crossings so there I've checked before I did that I, could, I checked that there's no one actually coming to cross first because if they were I'll let them cross and then I'll go to the to my position there but once I can see that there's no one there I can go forward and stop the car on top of the crossing right by the giveaway line and if you're behind large vehicles as well or like vehicles that have got no windows you can't really see properly in front of you so that's, that's when you want to be uh, further back so you can have a better view of what's going on in front uh, like buses lorries especially buses all you're going to see is a big wall of red in front of you and you're not really going to be able to see what's going on beyond them and if they suddenly stop next to a crossing you won't be able to uh, have enough time to react and and prevent yourself from blocking that crossing <laughs> 